Balance beam mounts have been a bit underwhelming in recent years. Unlike the dismount, the mount doesn't have to be among the eight counting skills which make up the difficulty score. Most gymnasts choose not to start with high-risk moves, because any large deduction in the first skill of the routine might mentally hinder the rest of the performance. In this video, we'll take a look at the two most difficult balance beam mounts in the Code of Points. Also known as an Arabian mount, the Erzeg is as difficult as it is rare. It consists of a round-off onto the springboard, followed by a takeoff backward with a half turn to a salto forward tucked. Since the 2007 World Championships, it officially carries the name of Croatia's Tina Erzeg. At the time, this skill received an F rating, but since 2013 it has been officially upgraded to G. The blind landing increases its level of risk, since gymnasts can't really spot the beam until their feet hit the apparatus. So, props to anyone who has the guts to start off with such a difficult move. The other G-level beam mount in the code of points is the layout full, also quite uncommon these days. It consists of a round off onto the springboard, followed by a salto backward stretched with a full twist to cross stand on beam. Maintaining a stretched body position throughout seems to be one of the biggest challenges. Most gymnasts are not able to generate the proper height and end up piking it at the end. On top of that, any twisting element on a 4 inch wide beam is extremely risky. One inch off to the side could result in a fall, which is a full point deduction. In your opinion, should it be mandatory for mounts to count toward the difficulty score? <laughs> 